Hello, everyone. Hope my voice is audible to everyone clearly. I'm audible clearly for everyone. Hello, guys. Hi. Hi to all of you. Okay, okay, guys, let's just wait some couple more minutes and then we can start ahead. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let me share my screen. Good evening, guys. Good evening. Hope everyone can my see my screen. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, let's get started, guys. Okay, so hello, everyone. So the yesterday, so we have covered a three days of a session till now. And there's a fourth day. So today's one, we are just going to start our project. Today, we'll talk about what exactly like, uh, we'll understand what exactly data is, right? How do we try like, how do we understand the data, right? If we have any kind of a data in not in real world scenario as well, let's suppose you're working a real life of a project or real life, life project, you can say at that time, how do you, you need to handle the data, right? In at that time. <clears throat> so this was our data description and all that, right? What we are going to today. Uh, today. So the project name is basically Netflix subscription, right? Subscription. So like, uh, what is the price of a Netflix, right? Uh, for different, different countries, the basic price or the pro price, there's some strategy behind the Netflix basically use, right? For each and every country, you know that, right? Netflix has a different price strategy for different, different countries, right? Based on their profiles or based on their uh, you can say the user behavior, user performance based on that, right? So these are the stuff we are going to discuss today. And yesterday we talked about in the previously, like last three days, we have talked about basic pandas, right? We have talked about uh, pandas libraries, right? We talked about like NumPy, pandas, sklearn. These are the libraries we have talked about. And yesterday, yesterday we have talked about uh, machine learning algorithms, like we have talked about linear regression decision tree and random forest how random forest basically works and so these two days today and tomorrow we'll talk about how do we apply these are the algorithms on our data set right whatever that data set we have so what are the steps we need to follow to apply any machine learning algorithm on any kind of a data right so these are the things we are going to discuss okay now so these are the libraries basically required for whatever that we are going to do so let's suppose first of all let me just tell you the steps right the step one is basically let me just write the steps here right what exactly the steps are so first of all step one is basically for any kind of a data science uh, you can say uh, a real life project if we are working any kind of a project or if you are working any kind of a data we are going to analyze the data. What are the steps behind it, right? 
let me write the first step first step is to basically gather the data right gather the, gather the data if you are working any kind of an organization or normal project whatever that project it is right first of all your task first step is to basically gather the data if you are working any kind of a company the company will provide you the data the company already gathered the data and he will provide you the data can be different formats whether it is in the format of csv right comma separated file or it's an excel right a json format or html files or text files and and so on multiple files uh, based on multiple files you can get the data and most of the time you can say in an organization a uh, company may provide you the data in the form of uh, you can say sql database right they will provide you a sql server and you need to fetch out the data from the sql server directly right like this way so first step is to basically gather the data and second step is to basically understand the data not understand exactly just to basically let me type this i'm talking about the real world scenario what are the steps we need to follow the second step is to basically after collecting a data basically clean the data Uh, not like this clean the data the uh, the basically the main idea behind to cleaning the data is to basically understand the data right why do we need to cleaning the data because we want to understand our data what is our data actually what is our data is talking about actually right and what are the steps right what are the steps and third step you can understand in this way eda right eda exploratory data analysis exploratory data analysis in exploratory data analysis basically we understand the data understand the data basically what is our data flow right what are the features we have in our data set what are the features is basically important for me to predict a netflix price subscription right what are the unredundant data we have right so these are the steps we basically the main aim of for doing eda or cleaning a data is to basically eda and all that stuff right now next next step is to basically feature engineering you can say feature engineering there are lot of parts we have in feature engineering feature engineering in feature engineering we have to decide what are the what are the features we have to uh, what what are the features we have to take it up for our machine learning models right and what are the unredundant features that means those features we have to remove those features we have to drop off which are not important for me right uh, removing features features basically mean nothing but the columns right these are things we have told you already columns right in a data frame we have a column okay these are the steps we have to do it and melt in many more steps right basically scaling our data scaling the data as i told yesterday we did some part of scaling a data right the min max scaler if we have a data with a uh, with a high variance you can say with a high standard deviation the basically the flow of a data the variability of a data is large other than the features right the other the features have a smaller length and the some features of a, on our data set has a high length high length basically means a high variability you can say at that time we have to scale the data in the specific range this is called a scaling multiple features multiple techniques we have for scaling a data as well right so these are the steps another step is to basically after that apply any machine learning model whatever that model we have right uh, machine learning models and we have to decide what are the features like what are the models we need to apply how do we decide what are the models we need to apply like yesterday we have covered decision tree random forest linear regression what like how do we understand what are the models we have to apply based on so this is the as i told na these are the steps come one by one if we collect the data after the next step is to basically clean the data basically cleaning a data basically understand the data if <coughs> if we understand a data better at that time you can easily understand okay this is our data set i need to so this is a classification problem okay this is our data set okay this is a linear regression problem only this is a lean, uh, or this is a regression problem in a classification problem i have decision tree random forest right xgboost 
मल्टीपल मॉडल्स भी हैव इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन आई हैव अ लीनियर रिग्रेशन प्रॉब्लम आई हैव अ लीनियर रिग्रेशन प्रॉब्लम सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग अ डेटा बेसिकली इज नथिंग बट हाउ व्हाट द व्हाट एक्चुअली माय डेटा इज व्हाट इज माय वेरिएबिलिटी ऑफ अ डेटा सो दीस आर द स्टेप्स वी हैव टू फॉलो लेट्स सपोज आई हैव गेट द डेटा दैट मींस इट्स माय क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम लेट्स सपोज दिस इज माय क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम एट दैट टाइम आई अप्लाई द डिसीजन ट्री रैंडम फॉर इट एंड so for this project we have for this problem statement we have a netflix subscription we have to predict the price of a netflix the other subscription price of a netflix so what do you think guys what kind of problem is this is this a classification problem or is this a regression problem can anyone tell me what kind of problem is this can anyone tell me guys what kind of problem is this basically we have to predict the okay someone saying classification okay we have to predict the price price of a netflix netflix subscription yes this is a regression problem not a classification guys yes this is a regression problem yes because we have a continuous data we know that right continuous data requires a regression problem um, and classification problem basically a uh, classification kind of problem we use for decision tree random forest we have talked about this thing yesterday as well right so these are the steps and after that the next step is to basically a uh, predict prediction right prediction after the machine learning model the prediction how a model is predicting and not right and next step is there another there are another step as well to check how our model is performing the right? behavior you can see right the evaluation matrix we uh, just right we have to evaluate our model how our model is performing evaluation basically means performance performance of our model we have to check the performance of our model right how our model is performing like it is performing good on our data set it is giving me good accuracy or not it is giving me the good prediction if it is giving me the good uh, accuracy if it is giving me the good accuracy at that time check how like how it is predicting it is not mandatory our model is giving you the high accuracy at that time it will give it is basically you are predicting a good results it is not mandatory right it depends on our data set so these are the steps we have after the evaluation if our model is performing well we can move ahead for the next step like suppose you can build a website right you can deploy your models we have a deployment of a model another techniques we have right so we are not going to the deployment of a model so for today's one we just talk about related these are the stuff right we just clean, we have gathered the data uh, today's one we talk about the understand the data we more focused about understanding the data right how to understand the data with the help of eda and all that stuff okay so now these are the steps we have talked about now let's get started so see we don't need to collect the data right we have already collected the data and a data set is cleaned already right our data set is cleaned already right there are some parts we can clean it up so these are the libraries basically useful for our this problem statement like numpy we know that what exactly numpy is pandas we know that os is a library which is used for you can say operations from our system to the python right the full form is operating system operating a system operating system right os basically means operating system yes if you want if we have a multiple files right if you want to read multiple files from your local system into the python at that time we can use os and the multiple parameters as well right we can do multiple things with the os directory right so os is basically is an library which will which uh, like with the help of os library we can access our local system to the python right with the help of os os library cborn is a library which is useful for visualization right matplotlib for visualization plotly for visualization right these are the three libraries which will basically for visualization as i told the importance of a visualization is to basically nothing but 
if we if a non technical person if you want to show some results to a non technical person to your manager at that time with the help of visualization you can tell them okay this is our data set or this is a flow of our data set right like this so this is a benefit of eda you can say or the visualization pandas profiling is nothing but this is a library which is basically to do some most of the eda parts right it can be visualize the data it will describe your data right it will give you the what is the 50% part of your data these are the stuff basically pandas profiling does automatically we don't need to write code one by one okay now but most of the time it will not be work good but sometimes it works better based on our data set if you have a, a clear cut data if you don't have that that much of a messy data this would be work good at that time it will not work good okay now so we know that how to read a data we know that how to read a data we have a we have a, a csv file okay a netflix price at different countries netflix uh, csv file we have right netflix price in different countries we have a file so i am just checking the head of my data what actually the head of my data is right so now today's one we talk about we try to understand our data and today tomorrow session we'll talk uh, we discuss about the machine learning model we try to implement machine learning models on this okay now so we we are just going to check okay df dot head okay head means basically we know that what actually head does it will give you the top 10 records definitely we'll share this file with you i'll share this files now so these are the column just try to understand this data set okay so okay country is my column which contains country right and total library size so in this country we have these kind of library of a netflix of a netflix right we are talking about the netflix library for this specific country austria have this kind of library right bolivia this kind of a library bulgaria these kind of library number of tv shows on netflix these are the numbers on each and every specific country right and number of movies cost per month basic basic basically means we there are three categories there are three categories in netflix the first one is a basic plan you can say or standard plan and a premium plan some of you have already like some of you have tried the netflix some of you maybe have of your netflix subscription as well right definitely it these are the files will be shared with you the whatsapp groups yes guys yes so these are the files these are the data set we'll share with you for the um, on a whatsapp group and again one thing as i told there are multiple ways to gather the data so this is the data set i have in the form of csv files but in real life scenarios most of the time you get a data from the database and from the you can see the apis as well right with the help of apis you can get the data and you need to wrangle your data you need to clean your data right in real world scenarios okay now so we have seen there are three categories a basic plan you can see the basic plan has a minimum cost and the standard plan it is much higher than the basic one 6.3 and uh, premium has the highest 9.26 that means there are some benefits as well right if we have a, a premium plan okay based on that so now so we have understand the data right we have these kind of features these kind of columns we have and we have a country okay and now we have to predict the price maybe we have to predict the price and we can predict anything it is not it is not uh, basically mandatory to predict the price only we can do multiple things whatever we can see in our data okay now so i'm just explaining what are the things basically used for the actual world not to basically the not to basically for this kind of data only right it's uh, understanding this way right now just check the shape of my data i have a shape of my data 65 columns or 65 rows only not columns 65 rows and seven columns i have in my data set a pretty much not a big data right and what are the columns we have what are the columns we have these are the columns we have right uh, country total library size number of tv shows number of movies in this way cost per month basic cost per month standard cost per month of premium in this way right so these are the steps i'm just saying you i'm just telling you these are the steps you need to follow if you are working any kind of a data 
just try to today's one we are just try to understand our data better okay now next step is to basically we are just checking okay uh, describe describe is a function in python which will give you the description of your data so see total size total library size of a count of a count okay it is giving me the count okay 65 count we have totally for uh, library size number of tv shows we have 65 number of movies we have 65 these are count these are count right and what is the mean value the mean value that means of a library size is 5314 3518 is a minimum or mean value mean value or average value you can say that for each and every the whole country it is not talking about the one specific country it is talking about the whole data okay what is the standard deviation what is the minimum value minimum value or you can say a minimum library size in my data i have 2274 only right and what is the highest by the maximum size of a library in my data set of a netflix is 7325 in this way so for this with the help of description or describe function will give you some overview it is giving you some overview okay what is the minimum size okay, what is the minimum tv shows i have okay for this one i can easily see okay netflix in uh, netflix in my data in my data set basically netflix has a minimum 1675 number of tv shows okay maximum it has 5234 pretty much simple right so that means we can get some idea okay the minimum number of tv shows in netflix and the maximum number of uh, netflix uh, tv shows we have 5234 in this way we get some idea right okay number of movies we have 373 minimum minimum and maximum 2387 in this way the basic plan the basic plan is one seven uh, one point nine seven rupees. You can say it's a, you can understand in this way rupees or US dollars, right? And the maximum plan is uh, the maximum plan in basic goes till one point nine seven to twelve point eight eight, right? In this way, the range of a price of a of a of a basic plan goes to one point nine seven to two twelve point eight eight. The standard price you can the standard who purchase the standard. The price of it nothing but three or three or three dollars to twenty dollars a month. You can say a month wise. Okay, we don't have month in this data, right? A month, or you can say the yearly, whatever that plan it is. Okay, you can understand anyway. Okay, now the premium plan starts from four dollar to twenty six dollar. You can get we can get some range of okay. We can get some idea. Okay. What is the price range goes from which plan to or like if which range to it will start from three dollar to twenty dollar there is a basic plan or standard plan of a price we got some idea right okay understood right guys till now what we are doing here exactly we got some idea right guys please be interactive so we can get some more uh, right interactive let's try to make an interactive session for everyone it's not like that way. I'm just explaining you everything. Just be interactive. Okay. Okay. So as I told, as I told, Pandas profiling. Pandas profiling is a function in Python or it's a library in Python, which will do multiple steps at the one single time. We don't need to do multiple things at the one single time, right? We just uh, import Pandas profiling dot profile report, the DF. What exactly DF is? DF is nothing but my data frame. Okay. I have a data frame. So in this data frame, what we are doing here, profiling dot two profile. This profile will be stored in this uh, in this format. Okay, it can be stored. Okay, it can be so. It is not mandatory to store always. Okay. Now, so it is summarized. So it is basically summary. If I just run this, it will summarize the data. It is try to summarize the data. Now I am going to summarizing a data one one step. I am just going to describing a data. I am going to see the head of my data. Right. I'm seeing what is the maximum value, what is the minimum value, what is the missing values I have in my data set. Okay. What are the variables I have in my data set? So pandas profiling is a function or it's a library which will show you everything. Okay, we don't need to write a code from scratch in this way. Now just let let's just uh, check this one. Okay, how it is showing. 
Okay, the overview is okay. Number of variables seven we have. Okay, okay. Now we have understood. Okay, total number of seven columns we have. Categorical column one I have. Okay, okay. That means a one category column we have. We know that, right? What exactly the meaning of categorical data, right? Categorical basically means which has a classes. Like the way yesterday we have, I'm going to fail or pass in this way, right? It is not mandatory. We have a one class, two class. We can we have like five classes, ten classes, whatever that classes we can. Okay. A numeric columns we have. Numeric basically means a continuous data, right? A continuous data. Number of observations is nothing but number of records, number of rows. Missing cell. How many missing cells we have? Missing cells basically means missing records. How many missing records? We don't have any missing records. A percentage of missing cells. Nothing. We don't have any missing cells here, right? Pandas profiling is generated. Definitely, we can generate a pandas profiling for HTML files as well, guys. Yes, we can make that thing as well. But for now, we are not doing that thing. But we can do that. The HTML file of pandas profiling, we can do that. Okay. Now, the how many duplicate records we have in our data? Zero. Duplicate rows percentage zero. Right. Total size in memory we have three point seven KB only. Average record size in memory fifty eight byte. There is nothing but that, right? So we can, if we have a huge data at that time, it will show you everything. It will show you everything. And what are the alerts it is showing? Okay, it is showing country has the highest cardinality, sixty five distinct values, right? Sixty five distinct value. That means we have a sixty five unique values. I have a column country. I have a column. This country column giving me the sixty five unique values. Okay, today showing me this girl alerts, right? Total library size is the highest correlated with the number of TV shows. So if I do this thing manually at that time, I need to make a correlation chart. I need to make a correlation chart. Correlation chart basically nothing but the heat map, right? So but pandas profiling will give you the overview of your data. Getting my point, right? Number of TV shows is a one column which is highly correlated. Highly correlated basically means what does it mean of highly correlated? Okay, let us understand before highly correlated means a correlation. Correlation is nothing but the relationship between the columns. Again, correlated is nothing but the correlation. Correlation is nothing but the relationship between the columns. I have a seven columns in my data set. What are the features? What are the columns are highly correlated? To the features to each other. Okay, if there are some features which are highly correlated to each other at that time, I can drop those features as well because they will not give me the high impact of my target variable. Getting my point, right, guys? Yeah, definitely. Uh, some of you getting some error at that time for concatenation. Concatenation requires a access. Access basically means you want to concatenate your records from uh, access zero wise or access one wise. Access zero is nothing but the row wise or access one is equal to column wise. This kind of an error you have to resolve it to passing an access. Okay, so these are the stuffs are. Pandas profiling is basically giving you right. These are the alerts, right? Now let's just go to the overview. Okay, what are the variables? Sixty-five distinct columns we have like Argentina, Romania, San Francisco, right? Whatever it is. Okay, memory size in this way, distinct total library size. So these are another column. Country we have a column. Total library size zero missing values we have. Minimum number is two two seven four. Maximum number is. Seven three two five. How many zeros we have? Zero zeros we have. Negative value zero, right? So this is the way pandas profiling does for you, right? We don't need to write a code from scratch. This is the benefit of doing a pandas profiling, right? Getting it, guys? Till now, so what are the uh, per month standard? Everything, everything is basically written in this. You can say. A basic overview of your features. It basically made it up with the help of pandas profiling. Okay, now it will show you multiple things, right? These are 
you can see the scatter plot of total library size and cost per month of premium these are the charts it made basically right? these are the things we'll show it this thing as well below right don't worry about that are we clear till now guys right understood right how what exactly pandas profiling is everyone Right, guys, are we good till now? Please be interactive, guys. Okay, okay, guys. Now, so we know that. Now let's just start ahead. Uh, info. Info is a method which will give you the overview of your related to your features, right? Country is a column which contains the object. Object basically means the string values, which contains the integer values. Okay, some of you are asking some questions. Axis. Axis is basically nothing but if we are concatenating a two data frame or if we are doing any, con uh, any kind of concatenation, at that time we have to pass the axis at what axis you want to concatenate, right? Concatenate is nothing but merging a two data frame, merging something merging something if we are going to merge something at that time we have to pass the axis whether i'm going to join or whether i'm going to sum two values with axis zero or axis one axis zero is nothing but the raw wise or axis one is nothing but the column wise yes with the help of pandas profiling it will give you the whole overview of your data right in this way Correct. So info is a method which will give you the overview of your columns. Okay, this column contains object, object values, this contains integer values, integer, this contains a floating values. Now we can get this. So the benefit of to seeing these kind of data types of each and every column is to it will help us to make a logic. If we are doing any kind of a logic, at that time we need to understand, we have to clear before what type of uh, what data type each and every column contains let's suppose i am writing a function for country country is my column and i am writing a function to clean to clean the country column right if i am writing a function so i need to write a function based on the string values based on the string values right what are the parameters what are the functions we have for string values right i cannot write a function for integer related for integer profiling for integer parameters you can say for integer uh, integer values right because i have a string values in my country column so we have to understand in this way okay now feature description this this is our description of, of my data set right a country is a column some countries where netflix is used okay total library sizes total number of movies and tv series add in the country total number of tv serial broadcasts in the country total number of movies released in the country this is a feature description right okay now the categorical column i have in my data set country categorical column numerical variable total library size number of tv shows number of movies cost per month cost per month in this way in this way right now find some missing value the another step we have to follow is basically check the missing values what we had what we did till now we just import the data after importing the data we just did some pandas profiling pandas profiling give you some overview okay how many missing values we have what are the uh, missing values we have what are the you can say the median value the standard deviation value the variance of my data set it gives you some overview right a description or describe function or info or info function which will give you some overview the another step is to basically check is there any missing values because with the if you have your missing values in your data at that time you cannot train your machine learning model why is it so because if you have a missing values in your data at that time your machine learning model will be trained on the missing values only right it will train on the blank values as well at that time it will not will uh, it will not give you the good results maybe it will give you the good accuracy but the results will not be good that means the prediction will uh, whatever that machine uh, whatever that machine learning model will give you the results it would not be good 
right maybe the accuracy can be good right it depends as i told accuracy is not that much important the important part is to basically uh, like how our model is performing it is giving you the good results or not right now so df dot columns df dot is null is a method which will give you the how many null records we have so see let me just write it here again df dot is null is a method which will give you the results okay if i just write this one what will happen okay it is giving me the records okay country is a column okay false 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 is basically nothing but so this is these are the uh, cells in my data set which contains a record okay this is not empty that means okay but in this way if i'm just going to check each and everything would not make any sense right i cannot see these things okay what are the columns I, which contains a uh, null records i cannot see in this way so i need to write a dot sum dot sum is a method which will sum all the records okay it is giving me country is a column yes values are filled that means yes country is a column which contains a zero missing values library is a column which contains a uh, zero zero missing value zero that means i don't have any missing values in my data set if i have a missing values in my data set i can i can fill those values again if i have a, again let me just write a one more thing a missing values if i have a missing value i'm just showing you the standard way okay if i have a missing values in the form of categorical data at that time we just use a mode method mode method basically means whatever that values are repeated more okay let's suppose i have five categories in my data set categorical data basically means we know that right a classes i have a five classes in my data set and let's suppose there are some missing values as well at that time what will you do to fill those missing values in a categorical column i'll do the mode technique so mode is a method you can say the mean median mode right in 10 12 standard we have read so mode is a method which will fill which will help us to fill those values whatever that values are repeated more time at that time those missing values will be filled by the mode value okay it is for the categorical data but it is a standard way this is a standard way but it depends on data to data right on a normal on a real world scenarios it can be done or it cannot be done it totally depends on a data set okay what exactly the data set is you we need to understand we have a we have uh, basically we have an idea about the you can say the industry as well if i'm working on a banking sector if i'm working on a banking sector at that time you cannot fill your missing values with the help of category uh, with the help of more technique we cannot do that because uh, the flow of our data will be changed right it depends on data to data or the industry as well that is why people said and in like companies ask for the industry knowledge as well industry knowledge is also in required for data analysis or data science purposes that is why okay now if i have a uh, you can say the median median or median for the uh, continuous data continuous data right for continuous data if we have uh, some uh, continuous data at that time if i have a missing values at that time i can fill those values for the median values okay yes not categorical mean and uh, like mean values or uh, median values can be filled on a numerical column right mode value will be filled upon a categorical data only yes basically mode median these are the techniques will be used for filling the missing values i have in my data set if i have okay yes now let's just move ahead so we have checked we don't have any missing values if i have a missing values that time i can do this thing okay in this way now now let's just move ahead so what are the unique as i told what are the unique country we have what are the unique country i have okay these are the different countries i have you can see the unique countries i have okay uh, argentina austria bulgaria chile colombia many more right these are the columns so in this way you can understand okay okay these are the different uh, you can say the unique countries have that means 
Netflix works in these countries only. I am just checking the size. What is the size? How many unique countries I have? It is showing me six. Okay, that means Netflix is working on a sixty-five countries. Netflix is working on a sixty-five countries. I can say right. That means or or I have a data of a Netflix which is only sixty-five countries of a data only. Where Netflix is working only sixty-five countries. I have I have this kind of a data only right in this way. Or uh, you can uh, you can just write df dot country country is my column name unique unique basically give you the unique records and dot size will give you the size sixty five records sixty five size or you can just check the length l e n is a method which will give you the length of your data set okay mm -hmm. df dot country dot unique and sixty five a length of your data set now now let's just move let's just make some charts okay. So we know that px px is nothing but my charts. We have imported these libraries before as well, right? What exactly these libraries? So we have done did that did this already. Right? Plotly, plotly dot express dot uh, plotly dot express as px. We know that what exactly as px is right? The alias, okay? So how to do that? So ps dot Bar bar basically means a bar chart. We are going to make a bar chart. As I told, the benefit of making a chart is to basically you can show your data to your non-technical person as well, right? Who don't know about uh, coding and all that stuff. Okay, you can tell them. Okay, DF is my data set. You need to pass DF is my column or data frame. On an x-axis, you are passing a country column. On x-axis, I want I'm going to pass a country column. On y-axis, I'm passing a cost of a uh netflix of a basic plan only okay and color should be basic plan wise and fig basically figure dot show will be useful will be helpful to uh you can say the show the visualization in front of your ui of a python okay now to so see these are the countries i have so you can see you can see easily okay malaysia is my country which has the high number of basic plans oh okay this is not a malaysia it, the country name is uh What's the name? Lit, uh, Lichen, this, uh, Lichen, just something like this. Okay, it's the highest number of records, and uh, this is a country. Switzerland is a country, which has the highest number of records. Another country is Denmark. In this way. So okay, these. So as I told. The basic difference between matplotlib, seaborn plotly is nothing more than that. The basic difference is the charts only, right? The UI only. Seaborn is a library which is basically make a charts. You can say the uh, you can say very colorful. Matplotlib is a chart. There are not such much parameters as seaborn uh, has to making a charts uh, good to see the visualization good. Okay, and plotly is a chart or is a library. Which will basically interactive. So see, if I'm going to hover on this chart, it is showing me the uh, country Switzerland, right? So these are the stuffs. Seaborn and uh, Matplotlib don't have. These are basic basic differences between them, right? But you can use any library to visualization. Okay, correct. Understood, right? There is no such difference between them. The difference is basically the coloring part. Right, there are some be between charts as well, right? Seaborn has a higher, uh, like a wide variety of making a charts. Okay, in this way. Now, so we can see that, right? So easily, a non-technical person can see. Okay, uh, Ukraine. It's a Ukraine is a country which has a uh, like not Ukraine. It's a Turkey. Turkey is a country which has a minimum basic plan, which has a uh, you can say a minimum number of count. Of subscription of a Netflix, which is comes under into Turkey country in this way, right? We can understand this way. Country tag is nothing but there is a color tag. So there is a coloring tag. Color is equal to I just pass the basic plan. So based on my plan, based on my categories, on my basic plan, it will give you automatically coloring. I don't need to specify what kind of coloring I need to. I'm just going to pass. Okay, I'm not going to show this. It will automatically make you the coloring. Okay, now, now I'm just going to make another plot. 
okay these are the plots is basically helpful to understand your data so for this you can understand okay okay in my data set in my data set a basic plan the highest number of country in terms of basic plan i have only uh, this this country uh, this country switzerland and this one denmark and this one sweden so i have top 4 or top 5 countries you can pick it up from this okay on a basic plan i have choose only five countries so i need to target these five countries only because i need to give some like you can say the offer these are the five top five countries i have which has the highest number of count of netflix subscription okay so i need to target these five countries only right so i just need to take a one new offer on a on a holy on holy or new year right on these top five countries at that time my maybe my sales of a netflix subscription would be high right in this way just try to understand these kind of things in this way just pick top five top 10 based on a data based on a data okay based on data requirement so another step is to basically px we know that right pie chart i'm going to make a pie chart i'm just passing a values uh on a standard wise a standard plan okay and the name is equal to country okay and update of traces insights these are the most parameters we have if you want to read more about those parameters just put your cursor there and just type a shift tab what is not showing me okay it is showing me see these are the features okay figure dot update traces patches so these are the parameters you can these are the parameters but here i have passed only minimum parameters you can pass these kind of parameters as well just try to read these parameters i have uh, like pandas has a uh, jupyter notebook has this is a feature just put your cursor there and read about these okay uh, what exactly selector is what exactly the patch is okay okay someone is asking about these kind of top five records so to see this kind of a bar chart what you understand what uh, uh, like any other uh, like uh, another person can understand to see this chart it, that person will be understand in this way okay i have like suppose one two three four five i have top five countries i will pick a, a top five countries in this chart in terms of basic plan only in terms of basic plan i will pick a top five countries I'll pick top five countries, which I need to be more take care about it because these are the highest number of, uh, you can say basic plan subscriptions of my Netflix. So I just need to more take care about these countries as well and top lower countries as well. So I'll see, okay, India is a country which has a, uh, uh, like you can say minimum, uh, you can, what's, what exactly it is? Okay. Minimum basic plan minimum basic plan of a min, uh, minimum basic plan of netflix in india why is it so i'll check okay why people are purchasing a basic plan why those are people purchasing a basic plan in india so i'll check okay what like india what kind of plan india has purchased it is a standard or it is a basic or it is a premium what kind of plan they are purchased okay in this way if india is a country which can uh, basically containing a minimum basic plan so i'll try i'll make some strategy i'll make some strategy that means i'll make i'll give some offer to the uh, to to my people you can say which we uh, like based on the culture you can say india as a country of a culture related right on like a holy diwali new year on a new year, i'll give some new offers in india maybe person will be make some subscription right that may be this number of records would be high on the next year right based on my strategies so based on the data i'll make my strategy right if i'm working in a netflix at that time to seeing this chart i'll make some strategy okay these are the three four five countries i have which has a minimum count which has a minimum number of records which has a minimum basic plan why is it so i'll figure it out i'll talk to people i'll talk to my manager why is it so right i'll talk i'll basically i'll figure uh, basically i'll try to understand why are people such uh, while people picking up a basic plan too much low why 
the basic uh, basically the overview of my data set i'll take it out in this way and i'll make a new strategy and you can say nowadays right as well right and uh, amazon prime in netflix as well or hotstar as well new new basically they will provide you the new offers on time to time based on the diwali based on the holi based on the uh, you can say new year as well they will give you a subscription right 499 just purchase a one year of a plan like hotstar right in this way now it's a hurry up it's a four days of a plan only or uh, this offer valid till only um, uh, only diwali or 25th of diwali in this way right so these kind of a plans basically made up on after the data analysis after seeing these kind of charts getting it guys right now so after that the c the p the pie chart the pie chart is showing okay this is a country that means this is a country has a highest number of basic plan it's not a basic it's a standard plan so this is my country which has the highest number of standard plan as well right it is showing me in this way so rest of the countries it is not that much high this is another top the second country switzerland is a country which has the highest standard plan as well in this way so these kind like these kind of a data analysis would be helpful me to make a strategy based on my data and what do you think right i can make any kind of a strategy based on my data i cannot make any kind of strategy without seeing my data right if i'm going to launch some uh, if i want to launch some a new plan on netflix i need to figure it out okay in which country i need to make a new plan right what do you think in india there is a plan 499 the same plan would be work for the us as well no there is a different strategy on this on the another country right in this way so after the data analysis we can, we need to apply some strategy okay now let's just move ahead after that another scatter plot so ps dot scatter plot on x axis what what x axis is basically so this is my x axis right on x axis and on this is my y axis why i'm making this one on y axis i'm making a premium plan i'm making a premium plan right so let's just see let's just see so these are my countries i have you can see what are the highest records can anyone see me what are the highest number of stand premium plans i have on which country i have a highest premium plan so this is my country okay switzerland highest the highest premium okay okay this on the same country right they are top two you can say they are they are most most of the time there are two countries which are giving you the basically purchasing a standard and premium plans right guys are you getting my point till now like how we are getting some idea right how do we make a strategy of like how to see the charts everyone are we clear till now the turkey is a country which has a minimum premium plan as well right guys are we clear till now <clears throat> another chart i am making up okay okay guys great so another chart i am making a px dot bar chart on x axis i am making a country country variable on y axis i am making a library size right till now i just made a graph based on my uh, based on my price right based on my plans basic plan standard plan and premium plan now making a plot on x axis i have a country y axis i have a library size which country has a library highest library yes 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 okay now hover data as i told right this is a hover data is a feature or it's a you can say the parameter which comes under into plotly only right some people ask what's the difference between plotly mat plot lib seaborn there's a features between like the parameter difference we have a major parameter difference this is the parameter comes under into plotly right a hover a hover related stuff right there's a the yellow one in this way here we have a, a green one and we have a two number of uh, we have a two you can see the two country you can see the two category on my hover here we are showing a multiple things number of uh, number of library size number of tv show number of movies in a one single hover these are the difference between a uh, libraries of visualizations so number of tv shows and a number of movies and color should be based on library size and height of my graph should be 
600, right? There's a height and P fixed dot show. And what it is showing? So can you can anyone tell me what are the highest country which uh, which has a basically uh, library size? This is a country name, Frisia, right? And another country name is nothing but Slovakia. Another one is Hungary, and another one is Bulgaria. So these are the top four records. You can top four country which has the highest country, which take uh, which which uh, which basically has the highest number of library as well, right? And the highest TV shows as well. So that means after seeing this graph, I can make an idea. Okay, these are the top four, top five countries. People are seeing. Uh, people are basically purchasing a basic plan, a premium plan, or which has the highest number of libraries. Library basically means in these countries, people are seeing movies most of the time. People are seeing a TV shows, right? People are seeing a movie, TV shows, or you can say anything, whatever, whatever Netflix has provided, right? These are the four top four, top five countries which takes. Multiple things, and this is a country, San Marino, which people are seeing not that much, right? People are not not seeing that much movies, or uh, that is why the library size should be uh, library size is low because of this, right? Because people are not seeing that much. Getting it, guys, right? So we got some idea. So now these are the steps we follow for understanding a data, right? So if we have, have understand the data better at that time, we can make any kind of strategy. We can build any kind of a model, right? If we have a clear cut idea on my data set. Another, another step is to basically this one. Uh, cost per month, basic plan, okay? Standard plan and premium plan. I'm going to sum all these values. Again, uh, like someone is asked about a concatenation. Concatenation is nothing but adding some data frame or adding some values. Concatenate is nothing but a summation or add something, right? So this is a first column I have, a basic plan. Okay, I'm just going to concatenate a sum, the plus symbol I have mentioned, right? Or I can use concatenation as well, or concat is a function, pd.concat, okay? At that time, I can use that thing as well. And I'm just using, a, I'm just adding basic plan, standard plan, and premium plan together. And I'm storing it, these kind of columns, within a cost underscore some variable. And I'm going to divide it by three. Why I'm dividing by three? Because I have a three conditions, because I have a three categories, right? Basic, standard, and premium. You can see the average, you can see, I'm just calculating the average of country-wise. Getting is good, right? And I'm going to store it into the average cost from a country. How do we calculate an average, right? Everyone gets clear why Basically, why did I multi, uh, divide by cost underscore sum multiply by or uh, divided by three? Why divided by three? Are we clear till now? Why I divided only by number three? Because of I need to calculate the average. I have a three categories. I have a three categories. That is why I divided by three only. Understood, guys? Right? Anyone has any kind of a doubt till now? Please be interactive, guys. Okay, okay, so that means you can see for country wise, for country wise, I have a 6.43 average. You can say average. This country has an average, you can say average minimum plan record uh, price is 6.43 or 14.67 in this way. Yes, based on three plans. I have a three plans, that is why I just made it up in this way. Okay, now, okay, now we got understand this way. I'm going to sort those values. So df is my function, we know that, and sort underscore values. Sort underscore values is a parameter or it's a function which basically comes with the data frame only. Sort underscore values, which variable I want to sort? I want to sort my values based on average cost from a country. Ascending should be true because I want to see the values from the ascending order, okay? So see, now I have a, minimum record after that i have a highest one highest one highest one highest one in this way right so i have sorted my values okay with the help of sort underscore values parameter using functions okay now to
to see uh, the head df underscore train dot head. So these are the things I have, the sorted value now I have. Okay. If I want to see that, uh, you can see the tail tail of my data set. So these are the highest. The benefit of seeing the tail is to the highest number of. So see, Belgium is a country which has the highest average value or a highest average plan. These are the top, you can say tier top one or top five, 20. That means uh, Switzerland, Denmark, France, in this way. Okay. Now, Matplotlib is a library which is really helpful for making a graph, right? Making a graph. Now, df doctrine group by is a method where we basically group by the values. Group by the values. Group by values basically means where we group a values based on the conditions, right? In this way. So df dot group by country. Let me just uh, show you like this as well. Uh, uh, that would be work. Just go there, add those values, go it there. If I just write this, it is not giving me anything. If I just write this in this way, can you see guys, right? It is giving me Argentina has a 6.433 records. Australia has a 12 point, 12 point something records, right? It is giving me a rec uh, basically a, a group by. So I have grouped, I have grouped my data frame based on my country. Right? And I want to see the average of a country. If I want to see the mean value, can it will give me the mean? Yes, it is giving me the mean value. Before that, it is giving me the sum. Now it is giving me the mean value as well, right? Anything. Or I can see the count as well. It is giving me the Argentina has a one single count. Australia has a one single count in this way. Okay. Now, and after that, I'm going to sort those values. That is why it is giving me the values sorted. Uh, there's an ascending order, right? Or lower after that greater one greater one greater one in this way right and plt dot kind is equal to bar so these are the parameters we have as i told if you want to read more about these parameters just put your cursor there from the starting and type a shift tab it will give you it will give you everything right okay make a plot of series of a data frame okay what exactly axis label or position label of position kind is equal to string value if i just write line it will make a line plot if i write a bar it will make a vertical bar plot if i write a bar h it will make a bar plot but horizontally right so these are the parameters we have just you need to be understand what are the parameters we have okay guys now so we can see in this way okay turkey has a minimum and india has, so here i have mentioned right top 10 records here I have mentioned I want to see the graph in terms of 10, top 10 records I want to see. So they are top 10 records, which has the highest one, lowest one in this way. Right, guys? Now, let's just move ahead. To see this one group by, I did this twice, I believe. Uh, yes, I believe I did this for twice. Average country from this one. Yes, I did this for twice, if I'm not wrong. Yes. I did this for twice. Okay. Not an issue. Not an issue. Yes. Here we have ascending wise. Here I have mentioned ascending is equal to true, right? If I ascending is equal to true, basically, it come it will give you the values for ascending wise. If I just did this false, it will give you the values not ascending wise. Okay. Now after that, I'm making a scatter plot. Scatter plot, I'm mentioning the variable. This is, uh, this is my x variable. On x, I'm passing a cost per month of a basic plan. Y axis, I'm mentioning of a country, right? And the size should be library wise. Library wise, the size should be the size of a, of a my, these are the bars should be based upon. So see, there are some record. You can see this is a minimum. This is a smaller circle size. It these are the size basically based upon the library size here i have mentioned no? size is equal to library size a high uh, basically a bigger a bigger circle is basically the bigger library size okay and the smaller one is basically the smaller library size in this way you can made anything you can made any number of chart to understand the better in this way so here i have made it for you to understand these kind of charts basically exist in python based on these charts you can make it up in this way only okay now let's just move ahead another one i'm just making another scatter plot i'm passing library size on x-axis y 
on the standard standard on the standard wise basically standard plan uh, standard plan i am mentioning about on y axis so see pretty much simple pretty much simple right the basic plan the highest plan in this way so these are the so we are just trying to do for understanding the data better now i'm just making a pair plot what exactly pair plot is pair plot is nothing but it is a plot to basically show you the correlation or relationship of each and every column throughout a image or throughout a graphs i'll show you how it is to so see uh let me just make some higher one on the y axis you can say there is a column average cost from a country average cost from a country so this is a relationship so this is a chart this is a chart let me just highlight this one this is a chart basically made upon country wise and the library wise total library wise there is another chart is making up number of tv shows and average cost from a country so for this one you can easily understand okay uh, what are the number of highest records we have in this way number of movies wise average cost from country right cost per month of a basic plan on average of a country wise these are number of records so these are called the pair plot pair plot can help us to basically make a or you can not distribution make a relationship chart right for each and every feature so see each and every feature these are the positive correlation what exactly positive correlation is what exactly negative correlation we will talk about these things as well for sure after but positive correlation nothing but whichever the value is increasing okay pretty much simple these now these are the stuffs okay are we clear till now guys right what exactly pair plot does in pair plot i'm just passing up uh, passing my data frame only getting it guys till now everyone now here okay now i'm making a box plot we know that right box plot is a plot which basically helpful for helpful for basically show you the is there any outliers in my data set or not is there any outlier in my data set or not box plot is basically helpful so see you can see that i'm just making a box plot on based on my basic plan on about my basic plan so see these are some values these are the three values i have in my data set which has some outliers these are my values which has some outliers outliers what exactly the outlier is the meaning of outlier is nothing but which are basically far from the majority again again what is the meaning of outlier outlier is basically nothing but which is far from a majority let's suppose so so to seeing this chart the majority of my data basically lies in these record the majority of my data lies under these records these records so these are some few you can say the few countries or you can say few prices which are from far from my majority so these are the three number of record which are far from my majority these are called the outliers okay in this way i'll give you one uh, real world example a people getting an package after the placement around 30 lakh right and most of the people getting an package around 5 lakh 6 lakh majority of the people right in 100 of our students are in a class we have 100 students 90 95% student take a package around uh, 5 lakh 7 lakh 8 lakh in this way and five people get a package 30 lakh around right so what do you think these five are being an outliers yes they will be calculated as an outliers i'm not saying these are like by mistaken and all that but these are called an outliers in a data set because they are far from the majority in this way right so box plot is a plot basically helpful to see the uh, you can say the outliers okay now let's just see so this is a condition this is how we can basically filter the records this is called a filtering if i want to basically filter some of the records in python how do we do that so this one 
So this is my one data frame. You can say this data frame, this is a one column. I'm just passing it, okay. If this value, basic plan is equal to, is equal to basic plan of maximum value. I just want to see those records. Pretty much simple, right? What I'm writing here, this is the value, the basic plan is equal to, is equal to, or is equal to, is equal to of the maximum of a basic plan, wherever it will be true at that time, I want to see those records only. So see, these are the two number of records. There are two records in my data set, which has the highest one, which has the highest number of basic plan records. In this, this is called a filtering in Python. We can do the filtering, okay? Now, the same one, number of TV shows, wherever it will, it will is equal to of number of TV shows. I want to see the maximum records where it will be find in whole my data set. The same one, right? Another one, I'm just making another distribution plot. And distribution plot, right? What exactly distribution plot does? Number of TV shows, color should be green, right? I'm making, I'm using a SNS or C1 library. You see, it will giving me, okay, these are number of, number of, uh, you can say distribution of my data. So see, you can see distribution of my data set or majority of my data set lies between around 2,500 or 2,200 to uh, 50, 5200 only. You can say 5200 or 52,000, sorry, whatever it is. Okay. Other than that, I have an outliers, you can say. In this way, right? Are we clear till now, right? What exactly distribution plot is? What exactly these are the plot is? What exactly we are doing here to seeing the majority, uh, to seeing the uh, basically uh, filtering, filtering records. Another one, the same distribution I'm making up related to the movies. Okay, and the color should be black now. The same one, the same number of movies. And before that, we have a number of TV shows. So you can see that in this way. Getting in, guys? Now making a different type of visualization. On the same code, on the same cell, I have made a multiple things. So another way, as I told, SNS dot. SNS is a library which will basically helpful to make a charts better in terms of visualization so see the same one cost wise i'm making a chart the green one what exactly green one is here i have mentioned the green one is basic standard is blue and premium is basically the red one okay that means switzerland is a country which has the highest max basic plan and it has a minimum of a premium plan in this way you can see in this way it has a norway is a country which has a maximum a premium plan but it has a minimum standard plan in this way right guys are we clear till now right i have made this you know one single cell the same thing which we have done above right sorting the values after sorting i'm making a bar plot i'm mentioning the x-axis y-axis right and the data set i'm passing it another one the same process the same process which we have done above the same thing only okay Anything else, guys? Are we good till now? Do you have any kind of questions you can ask now, right? Tomorrow's one, we are just going to apply uh, some machine learning models above it, right? Right, and we'll we'll just check what is an accuracy, how what basically how accuracy works with the help of accuracy, what we can do in this way. Okay, box plot. Okay box plot is nothing but guys box plot is a plot which will basically helpful for to seeing the outliers in my data set the benefit of box plot okay sns plot someone is asking okay sns plot okay so see sns plot is nothing but sns sns is not a not a plot okay someone is talking about the talking about the box plot only okay box plot is a plot which will basically show you the outliers how many outliers we have in my data set right so see in this data set that means basic premium plan in a premium plan in a premium plan column i have a two outliers okay this one and this one and we can we have seen already in my data set as well right there are two countries which is the highest one for the um, for the majority of my columns there are two countries. The one, the first one is Switzerland. Another one is uh, Linchester, something like this. Right? There are two countries. So there are two outliers. So based on like, if we have some outliers in my data, so there are highly chances my model will not be built correctly. 
the accuracy will not be good right at that time the prediction of a machine learning model will not be good that is why no it depends most of the time we have to eliminate the major uh, we have to eliminate the outliers most of the time we have to eliminate but it depends on the problem statement or it depends on the or it, you can say it depends on the uh, company it depends on the company or it depends on the data set what type of data set you have and on which you can say which country or not exactly the country which type of problem you are going to solve if you are solving a company uh, if you are solving a banking related stuff you are solving a banking data right at that time you can say outlier can be helpful right you cannot remove an outlier directly you need to talk to your consultant the mean the main work of consultant is to basically they got some a uh, good idea about a project or not project about a you can say about a business right so you have to good idea about the business without making a good idea of your business you cannot remove an outlier right but most of the time we have to remove an outlier if you have a good idea of business right guys anyone are we good till now guys are we good till now do we have any kind of questions okay 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 so this is it for today's one guys right so we have completed our four days thanks for connecting guys right and we'll we'll meet tomorrow at the same time and we'll basically apply some machine learning models on this data set right definitely there is a quiz as well for today's one we'll share the quiz as well yes we have shared the previous notes in the group just try just check in your group we have shared the uh, we have shared the group so we have shared the files previously yesterday for that yes we'll share the assignment for sure uh the profile related stuff i would say a data science would be best you can say for profiling if you are asking about the profile the data science is a good one okay just check into your group we have shared the file just talk to your group admin and that and you will get the file definitely yes in whatsapp group okay i'll talk to them and we'll let we'll let you know after that for sure will you will get the files for sure for sure for sure there is a delay behind it or oh, i'll check that out and we'll let you know after that don't worry about that we'll share the notes on time and the assignments as well like which group basically like one like each and every person basically connected with any group right each and every group in that group definitely you will get notes we'll share definitely the we'll share which group you will soon add within a group and you will get a notes for sure after that yes any questions till now guys right are we good till now let's just wind up this session and we'll meet tomorrow thank you so much guys for connecting thanks so much for joining thank you guys thank you so much Bye bye everyone bye bye Yes we have some workshop answers for sure okay so the answer would be basically we'll share tomorrow answer related stuff right the quiz which we have shared yesterday will share basically we'll discuss those things tomorrow
थैंक यू सो मच गाइस थैंक यू कनेक्ट थैंक्स फॉर कनेक्टिंग बाय बाय